Number 57. Using table 15.4, verify the contention that if you toss 100 coins each second, you can expect to get 100 heads or 100 tails once in 2 times 10 to the 22 years. All right. So first, you're, uh, pretend uh, there's only one second. You know, Pretend we're looking at one single second. And in that single second, there's going to be 100 trials, Okay, 100 coin flips. So I want to find out the total number of possibilities here. How do we do that? Well, if we look at this trial, right, the first trial, it's either going to be heads or tail. So that means how many outcomes are there basically for this trial? Well, there's going to be two. And then we're going to flip it again, two, and then two, and then two, and then two. So to find the total number of possibilities here, if every second I'm going to flip a coin 100 times, three, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, all the way to 100, then the total number of possible outcome is simply going to be 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 all the way 100 times. In other words, it's going to be 2 raised to the 100. Okay? So this will now equal, let's do this. So this is now going to equal uh, 2 raised to the 100, and it's 1.27, 1.27 times 10 to the 30th. Okay? Now this number might look familiar if you look it up in the table. This represents basically the total number of outcomes total possibilities, you can call it, or total number of, as we're going to do here in physics, microstates. Okay, so every second there is this many microstates. Okay, now they want to calculate basically probabilities or expectations that we get 100 heads or 100 tails. So if you toss this coin, or if you toss 100 coins, right, every second, there's only going to be one way that they can come out as all heads, right? I mean, it's every coin is going to be head, 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 etc. And there's only one other way that it can come out to be all tails. Tail, 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 tail. So basically, if I were to ask you now, what's the probability, right, of getting heads or tails every second? Well, then you would say, well, if this is the total number of outcomes, and I know there's only going to be two successes, so to speak, then I would simply take two and divide it by the total number of possibilities, right? 1.27 times 10 to the 30th. So why don't we get that? So this is going to be uh, 2 divided by that value. So now this is basically going to be 1.58 or so, 1.58 times 10 to the minus 30th, okay? And this is basically now, the, the, this is the a little confusing part here. But remember, this is all happening every second, and so to speak. So there's going to be, remember, the value down here is microstate. Okay, microstate. Right? You don't even really have to worry about that. We, we, even, we can even consider that these values would cancel, because if this is microstate, all right, and this would be the number of then successful microstates, right? Essentially, the unit would be microstate again. The micros would have canceled. Okay, so basically in this fraction here, I mean, it it doesn't look like a fraction, but watch. So in this, I'm just going to put this over one for now. So basically what I'm saying is that in every single second or per second, per second, there's going to be this number of successes, all right, the probability of such. So what I want to do now is somehow calculate the number of years this would take. So basically, seconds are on the bottom here. I need to get that into the numerator. So what I can, all I simply need to do is just flip this fraction. If I flip the fraction, now I get seconds in the numerator, and I get this value in the denominator, 1.58 times 10 to the minus 30th. And now what I can do is calculate then the years, right? If I have seconds on the top, I can calculate years now. So I can go seconds to hour, 3,600, uh, 3,600 seconds in an hour. There's going to be 24 hours in a day, and then there's going to be 365 days in a year. And why don't we calculate what this is, right? Notice that we're going to be left with years, and let's calculate this. So basically, I'm looking to calculate here, this, this thing. So this is going to be 1 divided by now, parenthesis, 1.58 times 10 to the minus 30th times 3,600 times 24 times 365. And what do we get? So we get a value of approximately 2.0, oops, 2.0 times 10 to the 22nd years. Oh, wait a minute. 
look at that. There it is. All right, guys. So hopefully this helped. If it did, please help us out. Subscribe. All right. We appreciate it very much. Hit the like button. Tell your friends. We'll see you soon. Take care.